Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Everyday Carry for the Everyday Guys. So those of you who watched my video last week will remember I did a review of the Emilent LD10 EDC flashlight and a lot of people were impressed with this light. It's a little 1200 lumen um, flashlight and one of the things that people were really impressed about was the survivability of it. Now Emilent have also released a tactical quote-unquote version of this flashlight. It's the Emilent DM21C. As you can see, it's a little bigger, it's a little more aggressive looking. It comes with a removable pocket clip, which is a massive deal to me. It's got a really funky um, on-off tail cap button situation, which we'll get to in a minute. But what you'll notice is this flashlight looks pretty much brand new. That's because, different to most videos, I'm filming this video sort of prior to my stress testing. I want to show you what I do with this flashlight. So what you are going to see is me taking you through the flashlight in terms of a review of it, lumen modes, that sort of thing. And then after that, in the same video, I'm going to do my stress testing, drop testing, water testing, and a couple of things that, that are a bit ridiculous. Effectively, I'm going to see what it takes to break this flashlight. Let's start it with the ordinary stuff, which is what you get in the box. So I have to say, Imalint really are impressing me with their packaging. It doesn't really matter to me, but their packaging is like top notch. It's really, really good. It feels properly solid. And this is a really good gift if you want to give someone a gift. Um, the box looks like this. And if you open it, you get that situation. It's got the whole magnetic situation going on there. So you get two little boxes inside it. On one side you get your flashlight which comes out with a little pull tab like so. It doesn't come with the um, pocket clip attached but I just attached it anyway so I'll remove it a little later on and show you what all that's about. On the other side you get an actual box if I can get it out. Actual box and inside here you get quite a decent pouch with a velcro situation and a uh, loop over there also obviously it can be molly webbed and then inside here you would get your pocket clip as well as your lanyard which i never use also i've taken it out already this is usb rechargeable same as the imminent ld10 so USB magnetic recharger situation. Nice. Okay, let's get rid of all of this. Also, you do get the Imalint, um user manual, which is so small. It's, uh, I wish they would increase the word sizing on those things. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. Let's get to functionality. So this flashlight also has a screen. A screen, as you can see, I'm hoping it's coming up nicely on camera. And... I'll take you through the modes. So, so you get a few different mode settings. Your standard settings are low, medium, and high, which is 200, 600, and 1400 lumens. You get 200 lumens for 4 hours and 10 minutes. Now, here's the thing. To switch the flashlight on, you use the power button, okay? To cycle the modes, you use the mode button. So remember that if I press the power button again, the flashlight goes off. So to switch it on is the power button and to cycle through the modes is the mode button. So 200 lumens for 4 hours and 10 minutes. Tapping the mode button once takes you to medium which will give you 600 lumens for 2 hours and 5 minutes. And then tapping it one more time will take you to high which is 1400 lumens and that you'll get for 2 minutes and after 2 minutes it'll dim to 600 lumens for 100 minutes. And then the flashlight also has a memory so if we tap it there I was in 1400 lumens last. And as you can see, I'm back in 1400. Now, double tapping the on button gets you to 2000 lumens and you get that for one minute and it'll dim to 600 lumens for 90 minutes. Double tapping from with turbo mode, which is in now, will give you strobe and then another tap to power off. Moonlight mode is three taps and that is 20 lumens. So one, two, three, and there you got 20 lumens. Now, what's to remember here is moonlight mode and turbo and strobe are non-memory function modes. It won't remember to go to moonlight and it won't remember to go to turbo. It'll only remember 200, 600 and 1400 lumens. So for example, I was just in moonlight mode now. If I tap it, you'll see it takes me back to, what is it, 1400 lumens, which is where I was 
last. Also, you get moonlight mode, 20 lumen mode for 72 hours. Okay, so let me recap. The on off button switches the flashlight on and off. The mode button cycles through the normal modes, which is 200, 600, and 1400 lumens. Double tapping the on off button takes you to turbo mode of 2000 lumens. Double tapping it again takes you into strobe. Triple tapping the on off button takes you into moonlight mode, which is 20 lumens. Remember that the memory function is only for your standard modes, which is 200, 600, and 1400 lumens. And then from anywhere, if you tap four times, one, two, three, four, you'll get a lockout mode. And obviously from lockout mode, tapping four times again, one, two, three, four, unlocks it. Pressing and holding the power button will give you a battery check. And once it reaches below 3.1 volts, it will, it will give you a battery indicator on the actual OLED screen eight times every 30 seconds. Now, one of the really cool features about this is it has an infinite power mode. Now, when I say infinite, I don't mean infinite as in it goes on forever. I mean, you can pretty much set it to whatever you want. So for example, I'm going to cycle from 1400 to 200 lumen mode. So as you can see, it's a 200 lumen. If I press and hold the mode button, it will cycle up from there infinitely until it reaches 2000 lumens. So you can literally on the fly adjust how bright you want the flashlight to be simply by pressing and holding the on off button. Once it reaches 2000 lumens, it'll start cycling back to 200. Now that won't stay in the memory. So if I press the on button again, it goes back to 200 lumens. If you want to see what that looks like, that's 200 and I'm cycling it to higher and lower. I'm not sure how well it shows up because my camera is going to adjust for it, but that is now at 2000 lumens. So you get a double uh, sort of flicker and then all the way down again to 200 lumens. Let's just see where are we 700, 600, 400, and that is 200 and you get a flash to show you've gone all the way down. So it's got like this infinite lumen mode where you can adjust the brightness infinitely to whatever setting you prefer in that particular moment, which is really cool. Now, the downside here for tactical use is the button. Again, Imelent, you guys are so close. I'm waiting for my camera to focus. There you go. You guys are so close with your tactical flashlight, but the button is too flat. Okay, we need more of a button on here in order for this to properly be a tactical flashlight. With gloves on, as you can see how flush that button is with the top of the, uh, the flashlight, with gloves on, we aren't going to be able to feel where the on-off button is here. We're going to be fiddling around, which on a tactical flashlight, you don't want. However, this in South African range is only $9.99, which is a really good price for a 2000 lumen flashlight, depending on survivability. So guys, I do want to stay at this point. We're going to switch the view in and we're going to get some outside shots. I don't know what's going to happen to the flashlight, okay? Um, I'm filming this on one day and the survivability is on a totally different day. So if we do come back and it's broken, that's just the reality of it. As you can see, I only have one of these flashlights and it's in perfect condition, not a scratch on it. So we're going to now take it to the survivability test and uh, we'll see exactly what it what it what it does but before we get to the survivability test i just got to say the flashlight is a 1.5 meter impact resistance rated it's got an ipx8 rating in terms of waterproofing it's got a 366 meter beam distance so those are the specs in terms of of survivability also it's rated to go two meters underwater so let's see what we can really do with this and i'll either say goodbye while doing the stress testing or I'll come back in sort of studio mode and um, we'll end off. Let's have a look. I'm sure this flashlight's wondering why this guy's sitting at the back of his Jeep car and not around his neck.
20 strikes. Drop testing. Did it die? Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Wait. So the really cool the Emelin DM21C. Let's have a look. Yep, I really killed it. So I don't know. I think the the breakage is on the 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 actual light end because the button still functions. The button and the screen which I thought would be one of the first things to go that still functions perfectly um, but the light as you can see doesn't go on. Immolent have since contacted me and said that they will be replacing this because even though they are not impressed with the fact that I uh, dragged it behind my Jeep and drove over it they do believe their flashlights should, should survive all drop tests so they are going to send me another one. I may do a giveaway on that one. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. All in all, I think as long as your tests with this light are reasonable, which mine were not, and I kind of think I would have continued going until I broke the flashlight. Um, I think you've got a pretty decent option here, especially for the price $9.99. It's just that tail cap button that if they could improve on that, um, they would really have something going. But I am very impressed with their customer service and the fact that they said that they will replace this for me. To put this into perspective, I have had many flashlight brands say to me they will not allow me to do a video review unless I stick to within certain guidelines. Those flashlights have not been reviewed. Um, and when I say popular, I mean popular. Probably the most popular flashlight brand you know who I'm talking about if I'm not talking about Olight. Um, as sort of said to me, you can review it within specific stipulated guidelines and those guidelines didn't match my review process So they did not get reviewed you. I think you'll know what is considering this one brand I pretty much haven't touched on my channel. So the Immolent DM21C Marketed as a tactical flashlight. I think it's more on the utility side of things I don't think anybody's gonna do to their flashlight what I've done to this flashlight but the key thing here and the thing I'm really impressed with is the after sales support and how willing they were to allow me to put the video out that is something that i really hold in high regard people who are sort of okay to say you know what this is a product test it if it fails put that anyway because we will learn and we will adjust and we will improve i really appreciate it and it tells me that you have great um, confidence in your product so that is it for this review guys for all those people who wanted me to do a review where something fails um, here you go, although I think I went beyond the bounds of the flashlight. I want to say a massive thank you to Henry Beeman and the guys at Imland South Africa. This, this flashlight as well as the EDC flashlight, the one I reviewed last week, are really, really awesome. I just think I took it a bit too far with this one. So now you know where the limits are. That's it guys, have a good week. I will see you soon for another review. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you guys have a blessed and safe Christmas. If I don't speak to you uh, before then, um, I hope you guys have a good one. I hope you guys get lots of tactical gifts. Um, check out my tactical gift video if you aren't sure what to get your partner, although you're running out of time right now. That's it, guys. Have a good week. I'll see you soon. Cheers. God bless.